Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and this one is on the new feature release of Yuzu's Project Hades, which is basically a shader decompiler rewrite. And if that doesn't say anything to you, it's basically how the game renders everything. And uh, yeah, most of the lag, most of the graphical glitches is all because of shader decompiler stuff. So they rewrote the whole thing and they basically fixed like 90% of the issues I know plus the performance is through the roof. So let's get right into the video but make sure to subscribe, like and comment down below what you think of this update. And uh, yeah for the uh, Yuzu early access builds and stuff you can go to their Patreon or my Discord server. And uh, yeah there you can chat with me and others and if you have any problems join my Discord server and I'll help you in there. now. This basically has huge performance improvements and countless bug fixes uh, and more. So let's get started. Okay, so basically they explain what it exactly is. Now this is how uh, the switch renders it. This is how it gets rendered in the emulator. It's quite some more steps, which made the process harder to run because obviously you might be seeking run CSGO at 300 FPS, but this is not a regular PC game. It has to be translated from the switch to your PC. So that's why you needed pretty beefy specs before to run switch games at normal FPS. Now normally you would have OpenGL and Vulkan which are the both the APIs. Normally we would have shader cache but with this whole rewrite my shader caches have been outdated. I recommend Vulkan nowadays but yeah. Let's just read into this and see what we come up with here. Okay, so they fixed uh, these three games to render graphics for the first time instead of a black screen. Also, to render Catherine full body correctly, you may need to disable asynchronous GPU emulation in your user settings. Alright, so the Glasm back end, I think this is OpenGL, the GL from Glasm. It's only supported by NVIDIA GPUs, limiting the scope of this performance boost, so I guess you can try OpenGL, but I still recommend Vulkan because that's where it is mostly focused on. They also added something that reduces your VRAM, so it's basically the RAM of your graphics card. And they will cover it in detail in their next progress report, so I can't really tell exactly what they've done. Okay, so now Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is fully playable on Vulkan. And uh, yeah, they fixed even more games that render almost perfectly now. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they, uh, they fixed the lighting and stuff. As you can see, especially here as well. And the graphical glitches in Luigi's Mansion 3, which I've been hearing about a lot, uh, are gone, the glitches, so that's good. Also in these games, the uh, glitches, crashes, and the stability is uh, fixed. Yeah, basically it just looks better, as you can see on Mario Kart 8. Uh, Tony Hawk now actually shows. <laughs> and yeah, everything is just fixed, which is nice. All right, now the most fun part in my opinion, talking numbers. Okay, so their test system has a 1070, 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is on Vulkan and uh, they have a Ryzen 5 3600, which I think is like a four gigahertz CPU. Basically here you have a nine FPS boost in Pokemon Let's Go, a 18 FPS boost in Pokemon Sword, a eight FPS boost on Xenoblade Chronicles, a 21 FPS boost on Link's Awakening, a 9 FPS boost on Breath of the Wild, and a 8 FPS boost on Yoshi's Crafted World. Now, this is different on each system, but uh, yeah, basically some games like Pokemon Let's Go, it made it playable at 60 FPS, even though I think the game is 30, right? So keep that in mind. This is with the unlocked FPS, the game is gonna be sped up. But yeah, most of these games are 30 FPS anyways. So especially for the lower end systems, this might be your chance to fully play the games at their full speed. All right, so now for AMD users, which I already had Falcon as their recommended API. So this system has a i5-11600K, a Radeon R9 380 GPU, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it is on Linux actually instead of Windows and a Vulkan API. Now, uh, A Hat in Time didn't even run before, now it did. 
almost 60 FPS. Animal Crossing, 4 FPS boost. Breath of the Wild, 9 FPS boost. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has a crazy FPS boost of 45 FPS, which is over 50% boost. Here a 4 FPS boost in Pokemon Sword. Super Mario Odyssey has a 14 FPS boost. Splatoon 2 with a 14 FPS boost as well. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with a 13 FPS boost and I don't know what ZLA is, um, but it has a 25 FPS boost as well. So that is crazy. If you look at this graph on AMD, it's, it's insane. And they will show more performance charts with their next progress report. Now that is all the links for regular Yuzu. It should actually have this as well. Uh, as well as user early access should be down below and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below what you think and uh, yeah join the discord follow my twitch and peace out peace